Hey, this is Angie. And I'm Ryan. And we are Happy Happy Healthy Healthy Vegan. Vegan. So we are back with an update on the whole Egg Board versus Hampton Creek debacle. Situation. Totes. So a while back, we made a video about the fact that the FDA sent a warning letter to Hampton Creek over the use of the term mayo Mayo. on their vegan mayonnaise product. Just mayo. Mm -hmm. And at that time, we had kind of um, indicated we thought there might be a government conspiracy going on. Really suspicious. And sort of like the next day, a huge story broke through a Freedom of Information Act. All these documents and emails were released showing how the USDA and the American Egg Board clearly tried to crush Hampton Creek in the marketplace. So in case you don't know, the Egg Board is a checkoff organization, which isn't actually funded by the taxpayers as I had originally thought. Yeah, they're overseen by the USDA, which is our government, but the American Egg Board is actually funded by the American egg industries. Yeah, so as a quasi-governmental body, they are specifically prohibited from influencing governmental action in regards to eggs, or in this case, non-egg products. And they're actually also prohibited from even disparaging... Dissing. Mm-hmm. Uh, non-egg competitors. But they are allowed to promote, which they did with some gusto. Yeah, that's what the, the, these boards were created for, is to promote their respective industries. So yeah, they paid, in this case, like $30,000 to bloggers to give them a list of talking points to say how, how healthy eggs are and how happy all the egg farmers are. Yeah, as stupid and wrong and untruthful that is, that's legal. That's part of the egg board's job. Exactly, but what's not legal are actions like this. Well, the American Egg Board is actually run by the USDA, and they've done a few things to it to take away your favorite mayo. They actually paid someone (laughs) to call Whole Foods to attempt to block the initial distribution of the product, trying to influence policy. But as with all things, we stood up to it. And good on the USDA. And you might want to congratulate the Obama administration because they're actually looking into it. Yeah, that's clearly not cool. You can't be dissing like that. And the head organizer, the CEO of the American Egg Board, Joanne Ivey, we talked about her last oh, time, yeah. showing all, she had her hand in everything. Well, now the USDA and the Egg Board are under investigation. And as such, Joanne Ivey, well, she was forced into an early retirement. Ooh. <laughs> and it's kind of ironic because she was the 2015 egg person of the year for all the <laughs> great work and hard service she's done, not for the American public, but for no. the egg industry. So how does the USDA, who oversees the egg board, respond to all this news? Well, they told The Guardian it is committed to establishing a level playing field that protects and promotes all appropriate agricultural endeavors. Wow, I didn't know the USDA had a weird accent. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always use a weird accent when I quote people. I don't know why I do that. Anyways, the point is that, um, okay, so if it were true that the USDA and, you know, by proxy, the Egg Board were um, committed to promoting all Equal agricultural endeavors, yeah. uh, then why are they not promoting the efforts of Hampton Creek, who are using American farmers to grow the plants to make their faux egg products? Why instead are they only wanting to promote the egg growers. Yeah, plants are on the same equal footing as chickens if you're the USDA. All endeavors. Yeah, I think the USDA had one last little uh, quote here. Um, They do not condone any efforts to limit competing products in commerce. Nice lip service. I know. So what does Josh Tetrick have to say about this? but we enjoy working with farmers to reduce the cost of food, to use less water, and that's uh, somewhat a threat to their business model. But as Senator Mike Lee from Utah has already spoken out against, you know, this is a free market economy and may the best product win. So we're gonna keep on pushing on. So yeah, we totally agree with Josh there. Let Hampton Creek compete in the marketplace. Yes. Even though they're much smaller business than the American egg industry, I think over time they're gonna whip their asses. And that's why the egg board's been running scared for the past few years, trying to crush yeah. Hampton Creek. They see the storm coming. I mean, mm-hmm. they see it, the writing's on the wall. It's a superior product in all ways. It tastes just as good. We've bought our second jar now, it's awesome. I mean, it's, it's healthier, it has no cholesterol. It's made out of plants, it takes less resources less water um, no animals get harmed it costs less everyone can afford this stuff it's just a win 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 unless you happen to be the American egg industry 
Uh, so finally, what is the FDA's response to all of this? After oh, all, they're the ones that sent the warning letter. About how they shouldn't use the word mayo. You can't say mayo unless there's actually mm -hmm. eggs in it. Well, has the FDA backed down yet? No. As of Friday, last Friday, they said there's no update. I really think it's time that they renege that letter and be like, oh, just kidding. Yeah, after all the crap that they put Hampton Creek through, yeah. they should at least back that off, unless they're total a-holes. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not so much about whether they're a-holes or not, but apparently <laughs> there's some really old law in the books that actually defines what the legal definition of mayo is. I believe we mentioned that in the past. In the first episode, but we showed how like Trader Joe's and five or six other brands that we easily yeah. found online use the word mayo and there's no FDA lawsuit yeah. against them. So at this point, either the FDA needs to apply this warning letter equally or they need to renege it. And we need to seriously consider striking that legal archaic, definition archaic of, law of mayonnaise mayo. from the books. Cause I don't think there's any point at this point in time. No. Seriously. So FDA, you could definitely step up your game. Show us that you're not an a-hole. <laughs> so on that note, leave your comments <laughs> down below. Uh, like the video if you're into it. Share it with a friend. Uh, write some letters to your government. Stuff <laughs> like that. Um, stay subscribed if you'd like more vegan news, uh, infotainment, <laughs> uh, recipes, and more from uh, me and Ryan. And happy Ryan. Healthy Vegan. <laughs> And until, until next, next time, time keep, keep it carb, carb baby. baby. Keep, keep it, it carb. carb. And keep it legal. Be healthy, vegan, vegan, vegan babies. <laughs> okay, it's getting crazier every episode, <laughs> I swear. And do not condone any efforts to limit competing products in commerce. What kind of accent does the Guardian use there? <laughs> <laughs> Should I already do that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like. I was hoping you'd play off that. <laughs> right, am I making an appropriate face? I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> Appropriate face of exasperation? Yes, check!